Hey friends, Natasia here. I'm super excited because today I will be taking you through my new and improved Ilia makeup routine. Ilia has been a staple, something that I've turned to for my daily makeup routine for a little over a year now. I typically would use their skin tint for my day to day. I have just started using their actual foundations. So I'm gonna show you guys that today. Let's get into it. Natasia here. The look that I'll be doing is this one. Light, summery, fun, fresh, daytime, glowy, bronzed look. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so right now I have no makeup on. I just got out of the shower. I actually just went and grabbed some of my regular moisturizer. That is all I have. So nothing on my skin. As you can tell, I have a little bit of, I don't know if it's rosacea or hyperpigmentation, but at my cheeks, they always have this kind of like redness right here. I'm also having a little breakout, but that's okay. We'll see what we can do with my Ilia products. Throughout this video, I'm also going to be using all of my Ilia makeup brushes. I'll be sure to link those down below so that you guys can grab the brushes. I don't know what is going on with my hair today, but okay. I am going to start with the True Skin Serum Foundation. This is the one I was just telling you guys about that I'm excited to try on for you. So this color is SPF, or whoops, SF7 Catalina. What I do is I will take my bronzer, ooh, I'll take my bronzer and I'll actually put it right here on the mirror and then that helps me just kind of control the amount that I'm getting on the brush. So I'm gonna start just dabbing slowly. Ooh, this is, looks like it's gonna be a good fit color wise. I have my breakout happening right here. So I'm just gonna use that to go in a little deeper. What I really like about this foundation is it's buildable. So as you can see, it's definitely a great match for my skin tone. This is actually a new color. I had another color that I can actually share I've been wearing SF5 Selena. It was a little too light, so I would notice like I'd have to put on a lot of bronzer for it to really blend into my skin. But I really like how this one's going on. This is actually my first time trying it. So good thing it's working. I don't love the heavy makeup vibe on me. Like I don't know if it's because my eyes are too big or what. A lot of makeup just doesn't look good on me. We'll still be sticking to like a super natural, glowy, like summer bronze type of vibe. So I now have my foundation on. You can tell it's a pretty good match for my skin tone. It's like kind of olive-y, which I tend to be. Okay, so this is one of the concealers that I love. This is the True Skin Serum Concealer. This color is SC1 Chicory. So this color is very light. I probably should have grabbed a darker shade, but whatever, I kind of like when my eyes are super bright anyway. So I just did three little dots under my eyes. Ooh, I kind of like this, like festival vibes. So I'm gonna blend this in right under my lower lash line. And then I kind of like feathering it out onto the top of my cheekbone. And then I'll drag the remnants on to my eyelids. So I don't really like when the eyelids are like super light. I think it's because my eyes are so big, it just looks like I'm an owl. Yeah, you can tell this is just like, actually the color kind of worked. I'm gonna add a little more right here. I'm kind of feeling like brightening the under eye a little more than normal today. Gosh, you guys, my hair is not really a vibe right now. Okay, I'm actually pleased with how that turned out. The next thing I am going to do is bronzer. This is something that I use daily, no matter what my makeup routine is. This is called Novelty Night Light Bronzing Powder, and I love it because it's very orange. So I don't really like the brown bronzers. I don't know why, it just doesn't go good with my skin tone. I really like the orangey bronzers. And I'm going to use this brush called the Perfecting Buff Brush. Oh, the other brush that I use for foundation and concealer is called the Complexion Brush. I love this. I'll even use it for the skin tint. I use it for whatever I'm putting on my face. So I'm gonna take this. As you can tell, I use this daily. And I'm kinda, I'm just gonna tap. And then I'm going to just buff it into my cheek bone area, like right underneath it. And then I'll blend it back into my hairline a little. You can already tell like, just really helps define the cheek. And I'll do it on this side. So this is a product that's also very buildable. And then once I have my cheek areas done, I kind of lift my hair up and I blend my bronzer into my hairline. So I feel like that gives a super natural glow. And then I'll just kind of go around my nose a little. We're already starting to come to life now with 
the foundation, the bronzer, things are looking up. What I'm going to do next is fill in my brows. I'm going to use this Essential Brow Natural Volumizing Brow Gel in the shade Blonde. I actually don't have that much left in here, but that's okay because we're going for a natural look anyway. So what I'm gonna do is just go for it. So I said this in my last video, before Ilya, I had never used a brow gel and it changed my life just like the mascara did. So as you can see, it's just, I, I really did a light job, but it just looks more groomed and more polished. So I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, the brows are done. They're super light, but whatever, it works. I think next, before I forget, I'm going to throw on this new product that I actually just tried right before this video. It's called the Lip Wrap Hydrating Mask. I don't know why it took me this long to try this. I have chronic dry lips. This product is amazing. So it comes in this really cute little frosted glass container and it's just like a clear, almost chapstick. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Mmm, ooh, I really like that. Okay, so I just realized something I forgot to pull out. So since we're going for like a healthy summer glow vibe, I actually just grabbed my blush that I forgot to pull out. So I've used this in my videos before. I love this product so much. So this is, one is, um, it's the multi stick and it's the color Tenderly. I love it. I'll just like dab it straight onto my cheeks this time. And I just like tap it on, brush it up past my cheekbone. And this color is awesome because it's not a super like pigmented, like dark pink. So I kind of like this for summer. It's like a super fresh summery pink. And then to finish off my face before I get into anything else, I'm gonna use this new product that I also love. It's like a setting powder. And all of Ilya's products are super dewy. So I find that it's actually really helpful to use a setting powder if you don't wanna use like a regular like tinted powder. So this one is called Fade Into You, Soft Focus Finishing Powder. It's just, it goes on clear, it's white. So I usually just swirl my brush and then I'll kind of just put it all over. Already feel better with that one on. I'm using so many new products, this is so exciting. This is something that I have started actually using in my daily makeup routines. It's the Liquid Powder Chromatic Eye Tint. So good, so good. Talk about like a fresh summer glow. So it's really this like metallic-y, like this one's kind of like a nude. So I literally just brush it on my eyelids and I use my fingers to blend it in. So what I do with this, um, since it's kind of like chrome, like metallic-y, I brush it up to under my brow bone so it kind of serves as like a little highlighter under there. Also, I think the reason I like this product so much is because it doesn't crease. I'm gonna use my other multi-stick. This one is Stella by Starlight. It's kind of like the highlighter. So I'm just rubbing it onto my finger and I'm gonna just tap it right, kind of like right above where I put the blush actually. My favorite step out of all the makeup routines is mascara, limitless lash mascara. So I probably do two coats of mascara. One to just like get the roots and then the second coat to kind of like get the tips of your eyelashes done. Okay, my last step is lip, but I have two products I wanna use. So the first one is this other product that's new for me, it launched in the summer. It's called Hold Me, the name is Hold Me. It's the Balmy Tint Hydrating Lip Balm. I love this color. It's like, a, it's a pretty close match to my natural lip color. I think that's why I like it so much, but it really is super hydrating. You kind of just put it on like a regular chapstick. So good. And then I'm gonna finish off with my favorite lip gloss of all time, the tinted lip oil, the balmy gloss. What's the color? Petals. The color is petals. And it's a really close match to the color that I just put on. And that, my friends, is a five minute makeup routine. Thank you guys so much for following along. This was a really sporadic, spontaneous video, but I've been wanting to do an updated Ilya makeup tutorial for months now. I love this look. It's super light, summery, fresh, bronze, glowy. I will tag all the products below in the description box and let me know what you think. Mwah.